Welcome back to another lesson for N3 Electrotechnology. We're going to be looking at a calculation for measuring instruments. Now it's important to note that there is no formula available to us in the formula sheet. Therefore, we're going to be using Ohm's law to help us answer this calculation. Now Ohm's law states that the current in a circuit is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. In a parallel circuit, we found that current is divided and the voltage across the parallel branch remains the same. Therefore, to calculate the total current, it's the current through the shunt winding plus the current through the meter. And the volt drop will be the same across the meter and the shunt winding. In a series circuit, we find that current stays the same and voltage is divided. Therefore, to calculate the total voltage, it's the volt drop across the winding plus the volt drop across the meter. The current through the series winding will be the same as the current through the meter. Here's a typical exam type calculation. A moving coil instrument with an internal resistance of 60 ohms gives a full scale deflection when 15 milliamps flows through it. Calculate the following. In part one, what is the value of the shunt resistor to be used with the meter so that it will be able to measure current of up to 9 amps. In part B, what is the value of the series resistor that the meter can be used as a voltmeter to measure up to 80 volts? Right, so here we have a parallel branch and the total current being measured is 9 amps. The value of the resistance in the meter is 60 ohms and the value of the current flowing through the meter is 15 milliamps. So therefore, to calculate the current through the shunt resistor, it'll be the total current minus the current through the meter. Using Ohm's law, we will state that R shunt is equal to V shunt over I shunt. To calculate the volt drop, we can say the current through the meter multiplied by the resistance of the meter. To calculate I shunt, we can say total current minus the current through the meter. Therefore, IM is 0, 0,015 and the resistance of the meter 60 ohms. I shunt, we have 8,985 amps flowing through the shunt winding and the remaining current flowing through the meter. Therefore, the value of the shunt resistor is 0, 0,1 ohms. Now in part two, we need a series resistor in order to measure up to a total of 80 volts. So the total voltage being measured is 80 volts. The resistance of the meter is still 60 ohms and the current through the meter is still 15 milliamps. The aim of this question is to calculate the value of the series resistor. Therefore, RSC is equal to VSE over ISE. How are we going to calculate these unknown factors? To calculate the volt drop across the winding, it'll be the total voltage minus the volt drop across the meter. The current through the series winding will be the same as the current through the meter. Therefore, the total voltage is 80 volts minus the volt drop across the meter and divided by the current through the meter. Therefore, the value of the series resistor is 5,273,33 ohms. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to continue supporting this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button and by liking these videos. Thank you.